same pedigree. Nah, nah, they ain't scared of felonies. So when you see me, just had the same energy. Yeah, yeah, just had the same energy. Yeah, yeah, just had the same energy. So, Naya, we are here inside of Lifestyle Soho. It's good to see you. I'm happy. You have a new project out. Yes. We're excited. How do you feel? I feel really happy. I feel like it was long overdue and um, I'm getting a great response. I'm yeah. getting a lot of DMs, posting other videos, the streams, the numbers is doing good. And yeah. you know, it's all building organically and I'm, I couldn't be more happier than what I'm See, right it's this unique position because it's like, you are brand new, but you are seasoned, but you are a rookie and you are a vet and everything mixed in. How do you view yourself? That, like that a big mess <laughs> like no I do feel like you know I'm brand new because the game has transitioned you know what I'm saying yeah. a lot of people have like you know bitterness like no you gotta kind of understand and grow with the game so that's why I say in a lot of things I am still new because they yeah. weren't out when I first came out so you know I'm just still learning so I look at myself as like a new OG rookie <laughs> that's, a, that, I, 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 that's an interesting way to look at it yeah, I'm not true. mad at it it's we look at the typical questions of women in rap, how the internet is. Is it possible now to yeah. just be dope and like, and yeah, get on now just yeah. because you're dope? I think so, it's starting, to, it's starting to change, you know, there's a lot of girls now doing anything independently, yeah. you know what I'm saying, because for one time in hip hop it was like one, one, one. Now you got girls that might not even necessarily be quote unquote mainstream, yeah. but they still selling out, they still doing their thing. So I feel like, you know, the more that, you know, women just keep doing their numbers, don't worry about who's doing whatever, and just focus, then it's, it's, that conversation is not even gonna exist no more. As long as everybody just keep doing what they gotta do, you gonna have like 10 girls like yeah. rocking and rolling, cause they are, you got like 10 girls rocking and rolling. See, it's this unique position. It's like, I feel like, um, in rap specific, mm -hmm. there is the mainstream where you're charting, mm -hmm. and then there's the, the show market, mm -hmm. and it's a very unique difference, mm -hmm. but there's still a difference. Is it comfortable for you? Are you aiming for Billboard, or do you just like, yo, punch if I tour, and I have a fan base, it's dope, or do you look at it like, I really want Billboard, I want mainstream success. How do you gauge well, see, I really love rapping. Like, I love it. Like, I really do. So, I'm on the second thing. Like, of course, I would hope, you know what I'm saying, inshallah, that my career and my music is that great, that I'm billboard and I'm charting. Yeah. But I love this thing. Like, I write something every day. Every time I turn around, I'm coming up with concepts, looking at movies. I take concepts, ideas. So, I really like rapping. So, I really just want to find my fan base yeah. and tour, and I'll be fine with that. Like, if I never quote unquote go mainstream, that's not like, that doesn't. To me, it, nowadays, like charting and stuff like that doesn't dictate whether you have talent or not. It doesn't. So as long as I get to the place where I can sell out my shows and my little arenas, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. wherever it is that I go, I will be happy with that. That's success to me because I didn't compromise my artistry just to go on billboards and things like that. And you feel like a lot of people are? Um, sometimes they compromise what, who they are, what they stand for, what they're willing to say, not say, and I'm not really willing to do that. Like, I keep it a stack. Like, and I stand by what I say, good, bad, or different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm a real bitch out here, and it's not a lot of us out here, so yeah. I gotta represent that small few of bitches who come up like, yo, I fuck with you for yeah. keeping it stack, you know, being who you are, whatever, whatever, so. See, this level of realness, mm -hmm. um, borderline aggression, Everyone judged you for so many years. Yeah. Now I ain't shit. She on her street shit. We don't fuck with her. She gassed up. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And it, it isolated you mm -hmm. when it, when it becomes more popular to be a part of the masses versus part of the, the real. Like, there'll be one real nigga in the room in mm -hmm. 25th. Right. People will be like, I don't like this person. Now, hey, what's up? And Right, you that's who I am. I'm the, I'm the one that everybody, before I step in that room, right, everybody in their mama, I don't like Naya, I don't fuck with Naya. But as soon as I come in there, everybody hats off, hands out, everything. So I'd rather stay in that lane than to be with the 20 motherfuckers saluting the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I run around here, I'm who I am, my name is good in these streets, I got a couple dollars with some real niggas. So at the end of the day, these bitches know, and these yeah. niggas know. So that's why I don't even really be having like beef and people like, y'all don't really entertain that. Yeah. Cause they know what it is in real life. They know like who I am and what I'm capable of. So I don't even gotta blow this out the proportion. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> they know what it is. I, it's true. It's it's a unique thing. Um, who do you listen to? Are you a fan of people now? Mm-hmm. Uh, I like, um, what? Well, I like 
like Jay Z still. I'm still listening to Jay Z. Um, as far as girls, I really do like Cash Doll. Okay. Um, yeah, we were out one night. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, that's my bitch. Yeah. Um, I definitely love that was, her. That was a quite entertaining. Um, but I, li I still listen to old school shit. Like I'm on Wu Tang Radio on Pandora, but I'm listening wow. to Jay the Kids. So this is why it's so hard for you me. You know those kids don't. They, they, yeah, they probably they're like who? They gotta Google like who the fuck is that? So I listen to that to kind of to continue to to, to the core hip hop and keep that within me. Yeah. You know, I get on my little trappy beats here and there, and I ride them shits too, but. I'm 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 not compromised. I'm from New York, yeah. so I can't. But you see, it's such a unique situation because the the the, the New York mm -hmm. the New York artists mm -hmm. haven't been as successful as what we want them to right. be. So then it becomes a difficult position of what's New York and is New York just the purity? Mm -hmm. Is New York a boogie six nine designer? Mm -hmm. Is that New York or is, that's it, is the New, New York, York only? 50 I think that that's the New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the new New York. Mm -hmm. So is it a because it you it loses so much of the original purity. Mm -hmm. Are you liking you know where it's going? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I like baby shit. Huh? Does it turn you oh. off? No, not no, not at all. Like I'm here for anybody and they sound if they if that's who they really are, right? So with the new New York, like I do, I listen to Six Nine. That that shit get me dumb. Like that music is fire. I don't care what's going on in the mix. Look, Six Nine shit is fire. Yeah. A boogie shit is fire, but like I said, who I am and what I represent is I'm still gonna keep that essence of old New York because you still do have people coming up, even young kids that do like that sound. So that's yeah. why, like I said before, I don't really gauge my success or like like I'm successful once I hit the billboard. Like no, as long as I start getting booked and busy and it's for my music, not for this ass, yeah. then I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't I'm I'm good because I'm content, I'm confident within myself. Yeah. Make a couple dollars, I got a couple other business plans outside of this shit. So. You know what I'm saying? I just keep it true to myself. Because you brought up, mm -hmm. okay, your counterpart, right? Uh -huh. Cool. Is it is it because a lot of girls be like, yo, Naya's only popping because she's bad. Mm -hmm. And that's what I hear. I'm going to be honest. The, yeah, the bad part, I mean, you've had some hurdles. Yeah. Naya's a bitch. I hate Naya. Then yeah. it stopped. Right. Then she's not a bitch. She's sweet. But she's only popping because she's bad. She's right. only yeah. popping because, it, like, why? Like, what do you say to the people that's like, you're only popping because of how you look? They lying as fuck because there's a couple bad bitches out here getting way book way more than me. If it was if I was on that type of time, I would knock them type of bitches out the box, but I'm on rapping time. I'm trying to be a rapper. Yeah. So if it was quote unquote easier for me because I was pretty, I'd rap these bitches under the bus too though. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I am bad, I can rap, yeah. but I'm not getting as booked as everybody else because you have people out there who's kinda insecure, who's not sure on me just yet, or not even willing to give me a chance to hear me out. Yeah. So now, you know, when I started doing the wake up sis and things like that, that was me. That was me stepping up and saying, yo, fuck these rumors, what y'all talking about. I'm a confident bitch, because yeah. my confidence was taken as cockiness for so many years. Correct. So, you know, I think that full circle, some people starting to get it, some people still on it, and then some people done talked about me so crazy that now they can't even co-sign even on my shit fire. Because niggas, done, I don't heard the shit that niggas say. More than females about me and What do they say? You, oh, she thinks she all that, she thinks she bigger than what she is. Um, she ain't going nowhere. She thinks she got it all. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. I'm like niggas. And I think that because I fuck with a lot of street dudes. I don't really fuck with them. I'm noticed a little bit. Yeah, I fuck with street niggas, right? So it's niggas in the entertainment business that's kind of like she fuck with Romello from over here. Why the fuck she ain't? You know what I'm saying? But I never. That ain't my time. Like I'm not fucking to get where I need to be. Not with that. I, if I like you, I like you. But most of the time, nine times out of ten, I'm fucking with street dude. I'm not fucking with an athlete or a rapper. Stay out of the DM. <laughs> it's filthy like that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you're like, you're like in love with your ass. Yeah, I got a whole man and a baby. And they just still, they just find a way to sign up in there. If I don't post them for a week or two, they like, oh, the coast is clear. I'm like, nigga, I still don't want you know. I need the hood little nigga on the block. <laughs> this game on. <laughs> Come on, you know I need my pieces now. Uh, Are you rapping about this on a new project? Yeah, I'm rapping about everything. I'm rapping about my love life, but also, like I said, I start that to represent. Sense. What's the project name? Let them know how it all Trap started. Love. See how, see how this, this, this Trap Love. Trap Love. You know, scammers, love, the streets, everything blends all in. It all makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, what's the record that speaks the loudest of who you are now? 
I think a winner song is yeah. my favorite because it's not even just who I am now. It, it's a conversation. It starts off where, where I used to be at, where I was at mentally before, you know. I was just out here trying to like get a nigga to cop a bag. I was just out here trying to get niggas to, you know, spend that bread in the strip clubs and then You did very well. Then. Yeah, I, great, amazing. I made a million off the pole, then I retired, you know what I'm saying? For real. So it was just, it was just a, it's an evolution record that shows like who I am now, and that's why I try to tell girls like I've been there. Yeah. I'm not telling you don't die and bop because I have my thigh and bop here, but I'm saying have an end all goal. Don't just solely um, depend on a nigga because I tried that route, it did not work. Regardless of what people think now, because I'm in a relationship, I'm still very self reliant. I'm still very independent. So that's why I try to tell girls it's all fun. Yeah, definitely don't fuck no broke nigga because then we won't be telling like Nikki said. But get your own point too. Bad. You rap, they're looking at you. I remember the first time I'm hearing you, I'm seeing you with Street Fam, mm -hmm. and I was just like, yo, why did they do a record with her? This is my first thought. Right. And I listened, and I'm like, she's rapping, but I just know when she wrote it. Then, again, this is being genuine. Right. Then I just hear it, and then I felt like if it wasn't you, mm -hmm. you would have already repositioned away from the style of music mm -hmm. you put out. Right. So I know that this is you pouring this yeah, well, because it wouldn't have made sense. See, the very first person that ever put me in the, um, to record was T-Rex. And you right. know, he's a Liverpool like. Yeah. So T-Rex was like, yo, you got, he was chilling in, um, he had this uh, little brownstone apartment. He was like, I have to my bitches over, because that's what he was into. And he's like, you got a smart ass mouth, yo, go in the pool. I'm like, no, for real. Like, so I wrote some, shit was trash, but it was fire back then. Uh -huh. So I wrote some shit, whatever. He was like, you know, he gave me my tough criticism, whatever, so I stepped my shit up. Then another person who is like my big brother in this industry is Jaden. Like I swing, oh, yeah, so you do I swing like seventy five percent of my music through Jada Jada Kids. Like I send him an MP three every now. Yo, what you think about this? And he he like I have tough critics, Fab too. So about me and Fab not having records, y'all gotta ask Fab that. Why he ain't never give me a record? Yeah. But once a real nigga time, Fab and Jada Kids, they like I always send them my shit and they give me. Yo, that's fire, or you go a little harder, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why I got these, I got T-Rex, Fabulous, and Jada Kids like checking my shit. Bar, so, bar, 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 bar. Yeah, gotta be fire, or they gonna be like, what the fuck was this, yo? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. With everything being in there, you have the new project. Mm -hmm. Does it bother you that at times the, the bad press gets more press than anything else? Because the, the DMs back and forth with Cardi, mm -hmm. it's like it overshadows all of the work that you were trying to do to stay away from the problems. That's like, oh, now you're back in the problems of beef. Right, no, see, that's why, like, cause when, when I, um, cause the messages had got leaked on Twitter first. So when I addressed it on Instagram, which is my big platform, big following. Yeah. Um, after that, I had 50 million people texting, DMing me from my team. Some people on her team used to be on team. Like, yo, drop the disc record, drop. I'm like, nah, we not going there because what you just said. Yeah. So I just wanted motherfuckers to know, like, look, I've been over, I, I support every, like, it's pretty much no female rapper right now that I could think of to my mind, including her, that I have a legit beef with, you yeah. know what I mean? But um, it's bitches out here, you know what I'm saying, that been hating because I've been doing my thing. So when I did release those messages, I was like, all right, like, I just want y'all to see. So moving forward, don't ask me too much about this bitch, because she's been feeling away. Like, so I'm not going to put a bitch on a pedestal that been feeling away, because there was no reason for her to send those messages to me. It was no reason for her to get out of character like that, because at the end of the day, if she felt anything that I said yeah. was offensive, you could have been like, yo, what's your number? We could have talked real nigga, real nigga. Because I check myself. I'm not, I'm not perfect. Yeah. But when she get crazy, you a bum ass bitch, that's why I'm here. I'm like, all right. You keep that same energy, and you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Yeah. Does it? Well, why not the rap shit? You're a rapper. Uh huh. Drop a disc like because then everything else gets oh, gets oversaturated, and then I'm gonna have to find a um, ghostwriter and beat him up. <laughs> so I didn't want to do that. Cause I don't, we don't know. Like they change out. So it just is what it is. I'm gonna have to fight her ghostwriter. Cause it's not her words. I don't think so. Like, you can't go on a diss battle and think you about to pin it, you know what I'm saying? Like, she would have to get to my ass sister. So, I would have to find him and carry the one and the two and then... You don't believe she writes none of it? I don't think not none of it. I think that she gets assistance, but I don't know. You just never know. You just never know. I don't think that she writes all of it. Hell no. She can't formulate a sentence. How can she formulate the shit she's saying? You write everything. I write everything. Do yeah. I have assistance here and there? Hell yeah. But when somebody come in and give me like a whole sheet, like, yo, do this? No. Nah. Never. Mm -hmm. what, what causes it not to? People are um, against people all the time. Yeah, I'm not against it, you know what I'm saying? But nobody has ever came to me with some shit that I couldn't come up with myself. 
I right. know how I feel. I know what I've been through. Yeah. So, like I said, do I have people come in and say, yo, change that out right there? Yeah, I've had that, you know what I'm saying? I, I think with, everybody will have Yeah, that. like, so I have, I work around, I'm the, I'm the first lady that I would cut, so it's nothing but men. So, of course, everybody done gave me a little twist of what I've been saying, but somebody just come in and give me, like, a whole song to start to finish, like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I get it. Yeah. Well, we're in lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So what is the dopest thing about your lifestyle today? I would say wake up sis. Cause it's my connection with people. But um You were really bold. Like I saw like day one and two. Uh -huh. And you were like really out with the with the with the meek out what do you wanna call it? Like Oh the, the Meek Millies. I call okay. them my Meek Millies. Hey, I didn't know how you wanted to address it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't they underneath this hat right now. Yeah, yeah. You really I thought, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I thought you were bugged out when you did it day one. I was like, she's nuts. What the fuck is she doing? Right. And then you followed up, and I was like, is she serious? <laughs> and then it was like three, and I said, well, she's got to, and I'm reading the comments. Uh huh. And it's, I'm going to be honest, three, four, five. Now it's probably day 100. Right. It's changed to all love. Uh -huh. To where at the beginning they were like, whoa. Right. And now it's like, what? Why the? Why do you think they embrace that so much? Um, I think that like, boom, back a couple years ago, even when I was on Love and Hip Hop, like when I did my green screen look, I told them I was like, yo, I want my scar to show, like I wanted to. So from back then, they people didn't coming, want it. yeah, no, they didn't say nothing against it, but I was saying like, I want to wear, like I didn't want to have nothing covering it because it was fresh. It was like the scar was way more, like you could see it more oh, back okay. back then. So. When I just that little motion that I did of yeah. just being like, hey, this is me, yeah. I had girls come up to me, DM me, crying, yo, like I look up to you, I appreciate that. So even like today, today my wake up sis was, I have a video ice one that's coming out and I had a boob lift in a production, so I have the anchor scar, right? Okay. So on the side in the video, you could kind of see it. And so he's like, do you want me to get that out of there? I'm like, hell no. So on a wake up since this morning, I told I told girls like, I know I'm pretty or whatever, can't take me, I do know I'm beautiful, but, I do have my imperfections and I like to show them because it helps other women be comfortable within them, their, their own skin. So it's not just about me, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if I could give the world just 20% of my true confidence, I would not have no problems. They'd be like, like, all right, whatever. Yeah, so, so that's why I do it. I do it. I, look, I, I think it normalizes you. I think it was the smartest shit that you've done. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was genius at the beginning. <laughs> you like this bitch you know, Meek Mills. Yeah, I thought it was crazy. I said, this is not going to be it. Right. But the rawness behind it made you something where it's like, hey, I can be like nine. And, and because before, remember Instagram, they had videos, so they will only see fly Naya. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they will only see I, Naya going to the club, hopping out, so they never see me on a wake up, hungover, one eyelash, give it to me. I, I couldn't imagine. But I think it made it attainable. There was, there was a, there's a, there's an aura about you mm -hmm. that, and about any dope girl who physically looks away, mm -hmm. that's like a regular girl's like, I can't be them. Right. And I think that that's why certain artists have worked very well lately because mm -hmm. they've managed to convince people that they are like the, girl the bottom, mm -hmm. the most typical, the most attainable woman possible. Mm -hmm. So because of that, they they click, and then there's the women who just look flawless. Yeah, like, like, I can never be that. Yo, so when you go it's crazy. look, and then the next day it's like, listen, this is how it starts. <laughs> it, you know the problem. Right. You sure? I'm no, but people like to, like even now, like I still like my grandmother still lives at Patterson Project. That's where I'm from. That's where I'm from. And I'll be going there now, like people starting to recognize me again. And I was on the elevator the other girl the other day, and these girls that they was like, "Oh my God, what are you doing in this fancy elevator?" I'm yeah. like, "Bitch, I'm from here." Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, like I said before. It was just pictures, and I'm not necessarily taking a picture in the pissy ass elevator, or whatever. But now, not that I was trying to hide it, but now people are starting to hear, and understand, like, oh shit, that bitch was like came yeah. from the dirty ass ones. Like, I did not strip because I was given anything. I stripped because I had to get some money. I was not always fleeky, nice, wide. Shit, even as that has, I had to pay for this shit. I had to pay to take some of this shit up, lift these shits up, like this shit. It's, it's, it's the best one of you. <laughs> you thank you. It was the best investment. So you know what I'm saying? I, I'm happy that people are starting to understand and listen yeah. and, and realize that all of this shit did not happen overnight. Yeah. It was definitely piece by piece. It's happening. I think that your evolution is, is, is happening in front of everybody's eyes. Mm -hmm. um, the music is serious. The records are dope. The project is dope. 
I mean, you're aware now. Now it's just about a record. Yeah, to that's, be honest, all, that's because how it feels. Everyone knows who you are. If they say they don't know you are, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's hate and you know. it's shade. It's like, whatever, honey. Yeah, everybody knows who you are. Mm -hmm. um, you rap well. You're dope. The project is good. Like, I can't, I can't put it together any other way than it just becomes that record. Or, like you say, just put out more projects, another project consists one more. Oh, I'm future in this shit. I'm gonna keep my phone on your neck. I'm gonna have about 15 projects. Just start touring and just move Yeah, to look. Do. Have you tried to tour yet? Um, I did before a couple years ago, but we're about to put together like a East Coast promo tour. Cause yeah, I do I do need to get out of New York. And see what happens. Yeah. That's because that's every time people like, yo, come to Houston, come to Philly, come to I'm like, yeah, I gotta I gotta get out of New York. I just got into something that kind of is keeping me here for like a couple more months. But I'm about to get fucked out of here. I gotta get yeah. oh. something. <laughs> the aggressive night is back. <laughs> I'm not mad. Is there anything you want to leave the people with? Um, just make sure y'all go get that trap love. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, Google Play, everywhere streaming. Um, shout out to Punch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We've been rocking for a couple. A, a lot of years. Always keep it a stack. Every but, time but, I see you, I'm like, I remember when you did the list. Remember, I was like, nigga, mom down. He was like, look now, and I like that. I appreciate the fact that that nigga don't back down. Like, this is why he wasn't there. Yeah. And I respect that. So, yeah. shout out to Punch for being a real one, you know what I'm saying? I try, I, I try to be the one to break all of There's not a lot of people out here who stood next to new people. Right. I've boldly and publicly stood next to a handful of, of right. artists before they were cool to stand next to coming out of New York. Right. And then now they've all, they're all million, no, they're all millionaires. Shit too. They're yeah. all millionaires. Yeah. So, yeah, let's do it. You know what I mean? So I can see it. I know when it's about to happen for artists. I've watched it happen many times over. And I know there is a moment where the people love you, the internet loves you, and the radio and everything happens. There is this time where it all Yeah, like, I feel like the internet is going to love me. I'm now need the people again. Yeah, you got to start like, it's like kissing my, people and going on live I'm with them the next day. Like, like, this is how you get I'm trying to pull up in real life. So I'm just trying to like be very like... This somebody, man. No, You'll be on academics by the end of the night. I'm definitely not trying to be on academics. <laughs> this is why I'm good. Academics is hilarious. I'm not trying to be on that page, though. I ain't mad at it. Well, you're, this is what it is. We in Lifestyle. We in Soho. It's dead. It's here. It's the city. It's Punch. It's Nia Lee. Boom.